my channel my name is Nancy and I do beauty and lifestyle videos if that's something you like don't forget to subscribe so today we have a um, first impressions unboxing video sort of um because my parcel from P. Louise Makeup Academy has just came and it only took two days which is amazing so I thought I'll do a review on it because I've seen as if brand brand new and you can see if you want to buy it too so I've got the whole collection but sorry if you can hear my brothers by the way I've got the whole collection but I've got one of everything so I didn't get all of the bases and I didn't get all of the cups I think it's brow products in there pretty sure so let's get into it okay so oh god it's very big so to start off with it come in this box and it come in like a plastic bag thing but i took that off okay so it comes in this like box bag thing I should try it's really cute i love their packaging already i'm definitely gonna keep this when i have cute packaging like i have the burn book box thing for the brushes the spectrum brushes i have that on top of my um cupboard thing uh, what other things there's some other things as well but this will be getting kept as well it's really cute it's like pink and then it has the gold writing and on this side it says p louise the beauty meal deal of the year the collection will fulfill all of your daily needs and it has a sandwich on it and on the other side it says p louise again and it says dishing the dirt which is what this whole collection is called and it says oh baby you're looking like a snack so let's get into it um as i can see so far i'll show you what it looks like inside uh, yeah this is the eyeshadow palette and it's in that really sturdy fit um bubble wrap and then that's the finishing that's the crisping and then this is the drink so let's get in so i'm just gonna start with the crisp finish set extra spicy so the one i've got was the like proper baby pink one i should really get how much they were up on the screen oh this is amazing okay so i'm gonna open it for you to see so it just comes in a box and it just says what is here and then when you open it i want it to focus on this and you open it it just looks like an actual crisp bag i don't know if you can see that and it feels like a crisp bag this is so cool okay it says t louise crisp finish premium quality and then it says flavor and i've got extra spicy it's so good how they've done it okay so i'm just gonna open it like a crisp packet so this is the the what is this actually called so I've got a really baby pink shade. I do want to get the other shade. I do want to get the other shades too, but I just wanted to get this one because I don't really have a lot like this. And then you get the brush. The brush is super soft. And that's what just the brush looks like. Just there. Brush. It just has the brush and it says this is a 7072 what a treat my what a treat my base brush is just says i've got a shade mocha, mocha chino in it and it says oh so beautiful warning the, this cosmetic cup is piping hot may your coffee be as strong as your brow game this i don't think you could really use this for a drink this one was easy oh my god wait okay so this is the brow thing. I really don't want to open up the sandwich just because it's so cute. So we have the brow pencil. As I said, I've got it in, how do I say it? Mochicino. That's how you can tell I don't drink coffee. I'm more of a hot chocolate person. Oh, it's nice and small. This is the brow pencil. So you get the little, you have the spoolie on one side. And then you have the pencil on the other side and it's a really really thin pencil okay and then obviously you have the brow gel on it looks a lot lighter this shade looks a lot lighter on the camera it's a 
darker than that though and then it just has the wand like a mascara wand okay now to the last one obviously the sandwich i wish my sandwich is like this big cheese oh, i love it so i wasn't so i wasn't too sure if i wanted to get this just because well, not that I wouldn't use the colours, just I don't know if I would use them all the time, but now I've got it, I'm so happy. So, I'll just show you everything. Nutrition, the perfect tasty recipe always starts by picking the best ingredients. True. So you can see it all. I think you should be able to see all this maybe like that and then on the bottom it says oh you're dating my ex cool i'm eating a sandwich want the leftovers too babe and it has all p louise's things you should go check them out especially if you want to get this so on the other side it says the sandwich stages so I'm not going to read all of it because it has bits so if you buy it you'll know what you do. So it says, the like headers say, you're just getting started babe, second course, let's be having you. Mm, don't mind if I do add a little bit more, damn I gave in, last serving please. So I'm just going to pull this down, <laughs> breaks my heart. Okay so it goes all the way down. And then you have the four stages. So we have that's the last one. Actually, it looks like a sandwich on that bit as well. So this must be the first one. Okay, so we have delicious. Don't mind my fingers; they're staying blue from this blue. So we have delicious, indulge, bite me, and smoking. Okay, and then we have real deal, rich, taste me, and flavour, flavour, flavour. Okay, so then we have yummy, snack, eat me, and buttered up. Camera like this, but uh, hopefully when I'm editing, it will change back. If not, I'll have loads of pictures on um, my Instagram. My Instagram is Beauty by Nancy, so make sure to check that out. Don't look at my terrible swatches, but then we have Hungry AF, Recipe, Nibble Me, and Sauce. Nice and shimmery as well, and this is just with one swipe. Okay, so let's get into the first impressions of this now. Okay, so you you're all zoomed in, so I'm just going to get started. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to take the eyebrow pencil. Personally, I'm going to use an eyebrow pencil and a powder and a gel. Okay, so I'm just going to brush up my brows. Bra I don't know why I said it like that. So I always just brush them up. And then I'm going to take the brow pencil. I'm just going to start filling it in where my eyebrows don't have hair maybe i should zoom in a bit more so you can actually see i'm going to be taking the p louise base in shade two as always i feel like i use this all the time it's the only base i shall use just carving it out i just picked this brush up i don't know why it's just a revolution flat brush Let's take the brow gel. I'm just gonna go straight through the brow. So far, the brow pencil is really good. Probably the best I've ever used. It's really pigmented, in it, pigmented, and you don't have to use a heavy hand with it. It's just really delicate, and you get loads of product in it. This eyebrow 
feel. I like it, but I think if you had really, really small thin brows, it might be a bit messy for you because of how big mm. the actual, sorry about that, how big the thing is. It's not too big, but if you have really small brows, it might be a bit big. But I'm gonna go do the other eyebrow, so I don't know if you can see the difference. It's just much more fuller, but it doesn't look really, really fake. So I'm just gonna go do the, this eye and I'll be back. Okay, so now let's move on to eyes. Now both the eyebrows are done. Um, I love the eyebrow products. I'm telling you, this is the best eyebrow gel I've used. It's like stuck them down, but they're not like cement, like some of the other eyebrow gels that I've used. So I'm just taking the face on my eye. Um, shall I do one eye off on camera and then one eye off? Yeah, probably. Okay, so it's pink on this brush. So now that's all down, I'm going to be taking So I'm going to do it in the stages like she said, just to show you that you, it does work. So first we're going to get, we're just getting started. I think I'm going to use Delicious, which is like this navy blue shade. So it needs to go with my base. So I'm going to take this small Revolution brush. It's just a small like blending packing brush. And I'm just going to tap in to indulge, I'm literally just tapping and nothing, no fallout yet. I'm just going to start packing that into my braid and on the outer corner. I always start on the outer corner, I don't mean to but it's just the way I've always done my makeup. So I'm still trying to learn this technique of putting on the darkest shadow first. Okay, now. There's a, there was a little bit of all that in there and um, it's like the tiniest, tiniest bit ever. That's that all packed on. I'm just going to start blending out the very edge of this colour, nothing on the brush. And I'm just going to blend this out. And then the next one would be, I believe, where is it? Second course. Oh, what do I want to blend this out with? Do I want to blend it out with the blue or the green? So normally I would take the blue shade just because I'm using a blue shade. But I really want to take the green shade. This one. But I don't know this one's go. I'm just going to do it. I'm just taking another like blendy brush like I just used. Just use. I'm just gonna start. I don't look too bad. Blending that out. Maybe I took that blue a bit too high though. But that's okay. Make sure it's all blended. So the next one is Mm, don't mind if I do add a little bit more and that's the lettuce and tomato bit if you're wondering oh wait maybe I went up too high I'm gonna try the yellow if that don't work out I'm just gonna use the green I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush this is the real techniques blending crease brush I'm just gonna start just gonna... okay I'm gonna take the green instead the yellow didn't really turn up. The green is called Taste Me. Okay, I put way too much on the brush then. This one has a little bit more. Um, all out. Do my cut crease with the baby pink crease thing for now. I don't know how much I'll need. And I'm gonna take the crease brush. I'm just gonna pack it on both sides. Okay, 
some for me. Oh yeah, I should have got a different shade because this one seems to be a bit close to my skin tone. Just build it up. Oh, see, there we go. Just like that, and then I'm gonna blend the edge out with the blue. Okay, so sorry, my battery died, and it's only got a little bit now, so I'm gonna do this a bit quick. So, I just all I did was I finished off cutting the crease out, and then I know it's a bit of a cheat, but I took the James Charles palette and took Pinkity Drinkity and just packed it on there so now it's like a little bit more this is sort of the colour that I thought it was going to be but, but that's gone purple now so you can't really see but yeah but that's okay that's just the colour that it is this is just the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara I'm going to do the other eye first and then let them dry and then come back to that after so i'll see you in a minute okay so i've done the top bit of my eyes and i've finished the rest of my makeup so i'm just going to go on to the bottom bit so i'm just going to zoom you in for that okay so just like that so first i think i'm going to take some of the base just a little bit like eyebrow brush from beach cosmetics I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. It's an extra spicy, by the way. I don't know if I said that. So, the, I will tell you all the, all the prices would have been on the screen as well. So, I'm putting it into my waterline. That's that. By the way, I have the doll lashes in jasmine on just in case anyone was wondering i take delicious again which was the darkest color i used on the same brush i'm going to take the green shade from the second the cheese palette i'm just going to call it the cheese palette it's called eat me like that now for the very last palette I'm going to take I don't know I don't know really know what I want to take but I think I might take the yellow which is called sauce. It doesn't look like yellow on camera but that's all fine. I'm just gonna take a small brush with that. I just broke the small brush. Does the gold look weird? I think the gold looks a bit weird, so I'm gonna go into the green. Just go over that, it's like a mix of both. It's almost turned into like a limey colour now. This is the eyes finish. Overall, I really, really, really like this eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette, the eyeshadow palettes. They're so pigmented and they blend out so nicely. Like they're really easy to blend with. And I think they're only 30 something pound. Let me just check. I know all together to get the four palette, to get the sandwich, the one of the crisp and the cup of like all the stuff in obviously, is £60. So the eyeshadow palette would be £37.50 on its own. The crisp finish, so the crisp, would be £18 for the brush and the product. And then the brows of £16 for the pair. That's really good and overall at the moment you can get £60 and you get the bag of it. So overall, I think this collection's amazing. Like the eyeshadow palette, when I first saw it, I was like, mmm, but overall I think that's my favourite thing in the whole collection. I love the this. 
lovely. But this eyeshadow palette is just amazing. Yeah, I would recommend it all to all of you. And obviously you can choose your shades, like the eyeshadow thing and then the... If I weren't going for this shade, I would have got Sorty AF, which was the blue or the teal shade. I can't remember. One of them. But I would have gone for that. Or the brown colour. But I decided to be different. And this is the finished look. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you do get anything or if you create a look that I did. Make sure to tag me in it because I love seeing it all. And... Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share it and I'll see you next time. Bye!